General Science Standard 6 Chapter 3 Diversity in Living Things and Their Classification In which spheres of the earth do living things exist? The geographical conditions at different places on the earth are very different. We find that living things exist in all these diverse conditions. When we live in a certain place, we adjust to the conditions there. Various types of living things have survived because of their ability to adjust themselves to the conditions in their surroundings. Can you tell are the plants and animals that you have seen all alike? No. There is diversity in plants. It means various types of plants are found in many places around us. Some plants like grass are short while others are tall and have a canopy. Some plants grow underwater while some others float on water. We find that some plants grow even in deserts. Moreover, we find that there is a lot of variety in the same type of plant. For example, there are different varieties of rice or wheat and mangoes of different flavors. Some plants grow even without stems, leaves or roots. These are very different from ordinary plants. Let us study this diversity among plants. Plants make their own food in sunlight. Such plants are called autotrophic plants. For example, the hibiscus. Some plants like funguses, loranthus, dodder use other plants for food and are said to be heterotrophic. Plants like the pitcher plant even consume insects. They are insectivorous. The structure of a plant Plant structure can generally be divided into two parts. The stem which grows above the ground and the root which grows below the ground surface. The root, stem and leaves are the main parts of plants. From time to time plants bear flowers for reproduction. Flowers are transformed into fruits. Fruits have seeds. Seeds give rise to new plants. Let us study these in detail. The flower. This is the most attractive part of a plant. It is connected to the stem by a stalk which, is, which may be long or short. A flower has a typical color and shape. The flower is an important means of reproduction. The leaf. The leaf is flat. It plays an important role in the production of food. Leaves are mainly of two types, simple and compound leaves. The stem. The height, shape and size of a plant depends upon the stem. The stem carries out the functions of production, conduction and storage of food. In some plants, it has the function of reproduction. It gives support to other parts of plant. The fruit. Fruits have different shapes. Fruits contain one or more seeds. The pods of beans and peas are actually fruits. The root. 
roots hold the soil firmly and anchor the plant. The main functions of the root are to absorb and transport water and nutrients from the soil. The roots of the carrot and radish also store food. There are two types of roots, taproot and fibrous root.